and I'm working on my Blood Bowl team. And here is my team so far. I'm not quite done yet, but I my quarterback here is this uh, large Minotaur whose arm just fell off again. And I converted some of these beastmen over into cheerleaders. Very cool. Have standard bear. Which these guys all have their basic color painted on so far, but nothing else more than that. I got some beast men here, which are actual players. And a couple of chaos warriors. And that's it for right now. Here I have this base painted for the uh, Minotaur, and it's got like a little field goal line, you know. I have a cheerleader here, who, uh, coach. He's a coach. He's got like the big horn calling out the plays. And some other guys. Here's an assistant coach or cheering fan or something. All right, so in here we're working on our board. And this is our Blood Bowl board. It's not quite done I just started on it today, actually. Um, right over here, this is going to be the turn sequences for the first half and the second half. And this is the center of the board right here. And this is actually the the playing surface right here. This is the center part. And then over here is um, the visitor side. You know, we have the bench recovery and infirmary and here's the cheering section where we put the coaches and the cheerleaders and then here's your re-roll section over here you have the score for the home and visitors right here and over here is the home team side so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my uh, saw my circular saw and I'm gonna start cutting these grooves in as much as possible and then where the corners come and I can't get any farther um, and like these short spans, I'm going to use the Dremel tool to Dremel out the rest. So all the stuff that I'm going to cut grooves in is done so far. So, oh, look at that. There's a nick on there. Boy, that looks pretty rough. That's okay. It'll look good once I get done painting that. And then we're going to we're gonna texturize it with some sand and flock and then paint it green. And um, then put our lines in and our stencil in all of our letters and our numbers and all that kind of good stuff and we'll see where it goes from there all right so i decided to make another side here i'm making this second side to this board i'm going to make a lizard man team as, as well and um could call them the lizard kings um so this is this side of the board i finished cutting this side of the board i've already etched everything out and it's all textured and ready to go. I just got to put some sand on it and paint it up. But I want to cut this side first before I start doing that. It shouldn't take too long. I, I didn't make nearly as many mistakes on this side as I did the other one. So everything went together pretty quickly. So um, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I got my board cut out. This is the original side here. Uh, wait, uh -huh. Oh crap, this is the wrong side. Dog diggity. Um, well, anyway. Alright, so I got some sand put down here. I just sprinkled it around and just sprinkled some sand on here. And I got my paint ready. This is green. You can see the color right there. It's like a real dark, dark green. And then I'm going to layer it with this color and this color sprinkled around. And then I'm going to sprinkle this in after I spray paint. This is some flock here. Some uh, village flock. Grassy ground lover. And um, then, you know, so, so you get a, get a brush paint. I'm going to brush paint. I'm going to spray paint dark. Spray paint light. And then toss in some uh, flock. And I'm going to do the same thing over to this board. And I'm going to try to be careful not to get in the river too much. Um, I don't know if you can see the sand in there. But uh, I'm just going to paint along the edge of the river in like this little section here, leaving the blue where the river is. And then I'll dry brush the blue with a lighter colored blue, and then this will be all sandy, and it'll be all grassy. Grassy, grassy, grassy. And that ought to do it. 
Okay, so I've got it uh, painted green and flocked. I just put a stencil on for the kings. And here's my white stencils. I used some wood around it to block kind of some of the overspray of the white. It's not perfect, but it's working out. Um, I've got my little stencils here, and I've got my paint pens here. My got them all shook up and everything, and I'm going to start outlining the rest of it. I do not have my pips put in on this, like the one inch grid on this yet. Um, I kind of screwed up and didn't get that done yet, but uh, I wanted to get into the painting process right away, so um, that's the way it goes. Here's the finished product. This is the uh, king side, and I did not uh, carve in these knocks right here. I just painted them in, so um, it gives it a much different look. I also went back and I painted this in blue and then over uh, etched this with the kings on top. Uh, it makes it look a lot better. It gives a little bit more color to the board. And I'll flip this over and show you the other side. And this is the uh, goat side here. And you can see that you can't see the knocks very well in the camera, but they're actually carved in. So um, they don't show up. It, it gives a different look to the board. And you can see the uh, little symbol there. I did that sauce with spray paint. Thought it looked pretty good.